Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton. I'm a practicing physician assistant of more than 30 years in nutrition, prevention, and integrative medicine, author, health educator, and host of this show, The Sloppy Vegan Cooking Show. And The Sloppy Vegan Cooking Show is a place where I cook fast, healthy plant food, and if I can do it, uh, you can do it. That's for sure. Uh, so I'm on this little kick where I'm taking a little recipe, which I don't normally do, out of a Nutrition Action Health letter. And uh, uh, a chef by the name of Kate Sherwood came up with Asian edamame. So I'm going to try and throw it together because it's very simple. Um, edamame are young uh, soybeans, the ones we get out of the pod before you have sushi. So they're very, very rich in protein and, and, and antioxidant compounds that help protect against uh, cancer. So anyway, we're going to take a nice little half cup full and throw it in the bowl there. And then um, there's a little red she throws in here with some radish. So I'm going to throw that in there. I already pre-chopped these. And then there wasn't enough color in this thing, so I'm going to throw in some cherry tomatoes, plus I ran out of the, the radishes. And then there was lots of green. There was, um, I used Persian cucumbers, but she had cucumbers in there. We had some, she had, um, I believe it was, uh, let's see, what was it? Scallions, so I had a green onion, so I just sliced it and put those in there. And then some celery. And the thing I did differently is um, also, aside from the tomatoes, I put some corn, fresh corn on the cob. I just cut it off because I had it in my refrigerator. Okay, so the recipe that um, Kate uh, recommended had some balsamic vinegar. No problem there, we got that, if I can ever get the cap off. And some soy sauce. And this is about the end of my soy sauce life. Then she put some sesame oil in it. So I'm going to use a little bit of olive oil since I don't have any sesame oil. Let me just use a tad bit here. Now you could do it without it. And then I'm going to add my usual limes. And we're going to just turn this around. And I may add one thing. I have some leftover garlic juice, I mean, garlic juice, olive juice. And I think I'm going to put that in there just because I want to. <laughs> and I want to clean out my refrigerator a little bit. Okay. And then we're going to toss this. We'll see how it tastes here in a minute. get all the juice there. So there we have, there we go, a little more red. I needed a little more red in there. An edamame salad, okay, rich in lots of color and phytochemicals. Now the problem, the, the, the proof of the pudding is, what does it taste like? It tastes very good, not too twangy. So this is my version of it's a little darker, the, the olive juice made it a little darker than the picture here, it's much lighter. Um, so my version added in a um, little uh, olive juice, and also we did the scallions, the onions instead of scallions, but and corn. But you get the picture, it's wonderful tasting, very crunchy, tastes great, and this will be, uh, again, my lunch tomorrow, maybe something after I dance tonight. So my name is Kirk Hamilton, as usual. The recipes are in the video description below this uh, video, and you can sign up for my health letter and my healthy living program. So until next time, stay and be well and throw some beans together. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.